Hi, and welcome back to our Arduino beginner series. In this video, we'll dive into an essential tool for every Arduino user, the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. This powerful tool is where your ideas come to life, from blinking an LED to controlling robots. Let's get started. When you first open the Arduino IDE, you're greeted with a clean, straightforward interface designed to make your coding journey as smooth as possible. The Arduino IDE is popular among hobbyists, educators, and even power users for good reason. It's much easier to use than other integrated development environments that work with Arduino boards. One of the biggest reasons for its ease of use is its simple layout. When you open the Arduino IDE, you won't be overwhelmed by countless buttons, options, and choices as you might be with other IDEs. This simplicity makes it perfect for beginners who are just starting to explore the world of coding and electronics. But don't let the straightforward design fool you. With the release of Arduino IDE version 2, this IDE packs a lot more punch than it seems at first glance. This new version remains uncomplicated for those who appreciate the user-friendly interface, but it adds powerful features under the hood. These enhancements make it possible to do more complex projects without making the platform harder to navigate and to learn. So whether you are just getting your feet wet or diving into deeper waters, the Arduino IDE is a tool that grows with you, offering both simplicity and capability. The IDE consists of several key components. At the top, you'll find the toolbar, which includes buttons for verifying sketches, uploading code to your board, creating new sketches, opening an existing one, saving your work, and of course, opening the serial monitor. We'll talk more about that later. The Verify button looks like a check mark. It compiles your code to check for errors, ensuring that your sketch is ready to go. The Upload button, represented by a right-facing arrow, sends your sketch to the Arduino, bringing your code to life. You used the Upload button in one of our previous videos to upload the Blink program to the Arduino. The large area below the toolbar is a code editor. This is where you write the code to control your Arduino. The IDE supports syntax highlighting, making it easier to read code by distinguishing commands, variables, and comments through color coding. Below the code editor, you'll find the message area and the console. The message area gives feedback during compilation, and the console displays detailed error messages, helping you troubleshoot your code. Now, one of the IDE's most important features is the ability to select the type of Arduino or other board that you are using and the serial port that is connected to. This is essential for uploading sketches successfully. Let's have a look at how this works. Go to Tools, then Board, and select Arduino Uno. Next, select the correct serial port under Tools, Port. If you're unsure, which port you to select, then disconnect your Arduino, reopen the menu, and reconnect it to see which port appears. Another powerful feature is a serial monitor, which is accessible via the magnifying glass icon. It allows your Arduino to send data back to the computer, enabling you to debug your code and monitor sensor readings in real time. So there you have it, a simple guide to the Arduino IDE. It's where your journey into the world of Arduino projects starts. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into writing code and understanding Arduino's basic programming concepts. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated. See you in the next video.